Hello, I'm Harrison Keeley. Here's a quick look at today's top stories. First of all, the Riverbend Festival is replacing the classic admission pins it's used since 1983. You'll have to wear a wristband to get into the 2014 festival. Organizers say this isn't just any wristband, though. It's a high-tech move that will help both security personnel and festival goers. The new wristbands will include barcodes that will be scanned as you come in and as you leave. That will provide demographic information to Riverbend organizers. And in the next few years, as costs decline, organizers say the wristbands will include RFID microchips like the ones used at Bonnaroo. The chips will help officials monitor crowd flow, disable lost or stolen wristbands, and even allow you to make purchases using just the wristband. While the admission price is going up this year, organizers say it's just to cover the cost of extra security personnel. And if you're a Riverbend pin collector, don't worry, they'll still be available. But you'll need the wristband to enter. More Riverbend news today. The festival has signed its first three acts for 2014. Country star Gary Allen will perform on the Coke stage on opening night, June 7th. And two acts have also been announced for the Bud Light stage. Singer-songwriter Alan Stone will perform on June 11th, and Little Feet will perform on the 12th. We'll continue to bring you more news about the Riverbend lineup as it develops. A 20-year-old has pleaded guilty to murdering a man inside a sinkhole. Keith Lee Stewart said he led the man to Devil's Pocket, which is a cave-like sinkhole in Soddy Daisy. That's where he told a friend he killed 24-year-old Casey Burgess, a father of three, in 2012. Stewart says he lured Burgess to the spot by telling him he had a quarter pound of marijuana. A medical examiner's report showed Burgess was shot once in the face and once in the back of the head. Stewart allegedly told a friend that he robbed Burgess and left his body in the sinkhole. As part of a plea deal, Stewart now faces 35 years behind bars. He originally faced life in prison. Finally, Girls Preparatory School has announced its new leader. Nationally recognized educator Autumn Graves is the first woman to lead the school in nearly 50 years. She'll be replacing head of school Randy Tucker. And Graves brings plenty of experience to the school. She served as the upper dean of students at Sidwell Friends School in Washington, D.C., where Chelsea Clinton was educated, and now Sasha and Malia Obama attend. She also recently served as president of Girard College, a boarding school in Philadelphia. And in 2010, Oprah Winfrey's magazine named Graves to its list of women to watch for the decade. Graves spoke about her new role in a video posted by GPS. Take a look. Something I'm really looking forward to coming to Chattanooga, to a place where you, you know it's clear that family is valued. It's clear that these ideas of faith are really important to people and that there's space given to that, that that's not something you have to put off to the side, but that has equal value as well. And so that idea of coming to Chattanooga in a place that um, I think is more balanced, I think it's a healthier kind of approach to living. And for me to be in that space, to be an example to girls, to think about how do we create that balance in one's life. I feel that Chattanooga is a great um, playground for that kind of work and, that, and those lessons that need to be learned. Turning to weather, we'll see showers and thunderstorms all day today with a high near 63 degrees. The low tonight will be around 37. That's today's newscast. Thanks for being with us. You can find more on these stories and breaking news all day long at timesfreepress.com.